What's up, everybody? This is Haley. We have have a nice death here. Good morning. It is it is a little early in the morning for me to be starting here, but we got to do it. Much to do. Unfortunately, we didn't unlock whatever this is. Complete breakdown ten. We did complete breakdown ten, as far as I can tell, but it's just not there for us. I'm afraid. So we'll have to skip that, I guess. Um, I'm thinking I might unlock something else here because. Take 50 hits. I guess that could happen, but using 20 animas in a run sounds pretty insane. I don't know if that's going to happen <laughs> anytime soon. And we move on to breakdown 11. Curse penalties are cloned. So my guess is that... Um, I mean, that just means that we get double penalties when we pick one, right? I wonder how many breakdowns there are then. 12-ish? 11 would be a very random number. Uh, if they have that be it. All right, this one's basically free. It's fine. These are not good. I'm going to roll those. Five re-rolls for 20 damage. Don't love it. What else you got? Hmm. I don't love these either. i just go with this one, though. Feels like losing man is not that big of a deal. No. Yes. Why does this look identical to, like, the last contract set I took a feel? Do I get Wish Torm out of this then? Let's see. I didn't get Wish Torm. We got something else. I hope it's decent. I think it's a spell, though. Let's hope it that it's uh, at least okay. Does the game not have as many cloaks as spells? Is it just kind of bad luck that I only get spells most of the time? Alistar. Al 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 Alistar. A display of magic and destruction has a cooldown. Mana 35. Attack 75. That's a lot. Oh no, it's this thing. Oh no. <laughs> so it's. It's. Yeah. It's something, alright. Um. Alright, see, so we got a person. I guess we could try to see, see if we can get it to work or something here. I'm not so sure though. So, it, you like plant a bomb and it goes off after a few seconds. It's, maybe, it's probably not as long as I'm making it out to be, but it's probably long enough to where I don't know like how usable it could really be. I don't know, maybe it'll be okay and I'm kind of uh, exaggerating. Okay. It does have a cooldown, too, so I can't, like, put a bunch on the ground, even, which is kind of too bad. If you can do that, it's like, well, at least at least there's that, but it, or at least there was not that, fortunately. I only have to complete the world in eight minutes, and it looks like we're stuck doing spells here, so I probably don't have to rush as bad. Nothing, huh? This is kind of odd. Uh, I wonder if they will add some kind of secrets via like platforms and things there. Maybe someday. Got an anima. Carefully, Dan. All right, whatever. All right, I guess we do just do the Thanager then. Should probably just, mm. I was thinking maybe we should just use the anima, but nah, that's fine, I think. Dun, dun, dun. We'll see what the Fury does. Hopefully that'll help us in some way. See if we can find a secret door or anything here. All right, and then I'll use this here. Wait, come back! Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding! Hey. Okay. I mean, is it okay there? If it can, <clears throat> this might this might actually work weirdly. Hmm, these are bad, like really bad. <laughs> oh, we gotta get down the green tree. That's gonna be important. I'm gonna use one of our animas now. So that oh well, kind of a mistake there, I guess, because there turns out there was a door here. 
We got Starry Halo. Now that's a spell that we've uh, managed to make work before. I don't know. I don't know though. I don't love Halo too too much either. I gotta say. So this way for a curse for sure. Didn't get any Prismium like I wanted. It's, eh, you know, I kind of just want to try this other spell. Well, I'll definitely see what the other spell upgrades into at the least. Gain 30 Solary. It's pretty bad. A really bad green, I'd say. Right, we just have to get down there, though. Choose two penalties. Oh. Petrol's gain 10 damage is one. And that's a lot of HP to give them. You definitely don't want to close the control room. Okay, gotcha. So when I said clone the penalties, it's not quite what I had in mind. Okay, so that's kind of interesting then. That's a definite additional challenge, I'd say. Because it, I, it was kind of too easy to avoid the penalties a lot of times. Okay. Hmm, I'm trying to think. God, that could be really bad. So if you have an anti-penalty... Ooh, a Prismium, nice. If you have anti-penalty, they'll still only get rid of one, interestingly. Assumedly. I don't think it would get rid of both. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. More penalties is, is an interesting addition to the difficulty, I think. They already had one where the how often penalties appear got increased. So I think this actually could increase the difficulty a lot. Now, I think the only issue is that the balance between the penalties is near non-existent. Some are truly horrible. Some do next to nothing. Fuse launches an energy wave. The other one's really bad. So I think we do do that. Energy Wave only deals like one damage normally, so now I get two penalties again. Increase with each purchase. Luma's gain damage. The hope is that I just don't get hit here, honestly. <laughs> Splurities is kind of rough here. Hmm. It's okay, we don't have a lot of penalties left. If you look at the green tree here, like if we just go straight up the rest of the tree, there's no penalties, so... Um... That's probably fine. I'm probably not really going to make a lot of purchases at the shop. There was the other one there, too. That wasn't that bad, I gotta say. We're actually looking pretty good right now, huh? Ooh, whoops, wrong way. What's dealing zero? I just saw zero numbers, I think. Is the energy wave dealing zero? What the heck? Oh my gosh. Well, if we get some flat damage increases, which we probably will eventually, then it'll do a lot better. Assumedly. I think. One Prismium, 145 souls. Um, we need more souls, and I really can't afford to spend here. So, because we could double, we could max out. I'm going to sell it. Ally star right around this time. That's HP anyway. It'd only be tempting if it was MP, I think. I think as is, it's not that tempting. <clears throat> I think it was noted during the subathon, my voice is substantially different in the morning. I'm not even like especially tired or sleepy or anything. It's just my, my voice just sounds different. We all have this to some degree or another, right? Okay, I do want to do try to do the big explosion here. Please don't move. 250 it dealt. Oh, almost got me. Ah, yeah. Oh gosh, that stung. Did that actually hit? Wow. Bosses don't have more defense, interestingly. I'm gonna use this now, I think. Still not dead, huh? 
Oh, thought I timed it well. Guess not. Thank you. Jeez. That one hit dealt so much damage to us. It was like half our health. Crazily. It was an easy move to dodge, so... Kind of my own fault. Although I admit, I criticize games when... You know, the difficulty is essentially just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. And then you get hit twice and it's over kind of thing. Don't love that. Temporarily gain 50% mana regen. These are both bad, yeah. This one's not that great for us. Actually, this one's still quite good. It The buff lasts quite a while. We do want to be careful because we really want to make sure we get... Hmm. Actually, yeah. How do I how do I make this work with even, like, Death Priest or anything? I don't know, actually. This spell's going to be really tough to use well, I think. Nice 10% price. Horrible. I think I can afford to use one anima and buy one. I think. I do believe. Now we upgrade green curses. Yeah, this spell kind of doesn't really make sense. I just don't hit... You don't hit a lot of enemies with it. Maybe if we can lower the cooldown and it doesn't tick for as long. That's my best guess. I don't know. Maybe the upgrades are, are pretty good for it. Okay. Temporary mana buff. It's good. I mean, it's still like a spell that allows me to be a little bit safer. But it's very slow go. I'm probably... It's probably just okay, you know? Like, it'll probably be fine. But it just doesn't feel like a lot of other builds. And it probably won't be as broken. Now, it is still going to be a question of can I survive? Was there, like, a reward in this stage? Kind of forgot what... Oh, right. The first stage doesn't really have one. Uh... Yeah, we'll just get the Prismium. I guess I might upgrade the Scythe once then. I think that's fine. Or we can save the soul for the shop. We'll see. Okay. If there was no cooldown, it would make more sense, I think. Then I could at least spam it against the bosses. Okay. What do you got? Hmm, so these are quite not good. <laughs> plus 25 mana is way better than plus damage. It also gets us down a path with no penalties. Plus 25 mana is pretty good, but taking two more penalties is a bit scary. I don't think the heal is actually very good. I might be underselling you a little bit. I guess we do want Arch Druid like any other time. But that even that's not as good. Chop is closed. Lobbies can spawn enemies. Sullied heal themselves. Let's do that. Petros have an additional dodge. Spot the spawn enemy ones can be really horrible. Because they can spawn like the big enemies on us and stuff. Okay. Whoa, pal. Gotta go a little bit slower. Probably kill all the enemies and stuff. There we go. Looking good. I'm just gonna assume that enemies appear in certain places, probably. Stop moving! Okay. All right, not bad. Boomerang, there's a spell that actually works, probably. <laughs> All right. I do have a couple of animas. There's a control room. Okay. Uh, so now they gave me two options for spells. So if the upgrades for a light star look bad, then 
I'm gonna be tempted to just do the boomerang here. Retaliate triggers the spell. So when I get hit, it makes the spell go off. That's kind of interesting. That's a very interesting upgrade, I gotta say. The boomerang is not interesting. <laughs> uh, oops, the damage. Not super special, I gotta say. Cast a double explosion, but it reduces the damage. Still worth it. All right, we'll try it out. I guess I'm not, I probably won't keep the boomerang. I will upgrade the scythe once. Not that, not that useful, but we'll probably be okay. I don't think I, we, I don't think we go for equipment here. All right, <clears throat> so what we do. It doesn't seem very good. It didn't lower the cooldown. It didn't lower how quickly it gets cast. But those are interesting upgrades. I'll, I'll, I'll say at the least. So this would be like uh, an interesting like. Uh, oh, I see it places them in two different spots a little bit too. This would actually be an interesting build if you have a lot of retaliate stuff. Nice. Right? Watch out. Hey, I oh, he got absolutely massacred by that. Put that there. Might use it, might not. Dang, that really hurt. I'm gonna use a uh, anima now. Got them both. It's kind of fun. I don't know. I don't know if fun is actually the word I'm looking for. Add a mana. We still do want, like, Death Priest and stuff. We need some way to get back mana. One seventy it dealt there. Okay. The curse re-roll. Yeah, Archdruid would actually not be that great for us. I mean it already has high damage. It doesn't hit often is the thing. So you want uh percentage upgrades for spell damage. And they do kind of exist. I think they do kind of exist. Dum bum ba dum bum bum ba na no da na na dum bum bum. Oh, this boss. I don't really know this boss very well. Ugh. When do I get to fight you? Okay, I dashed into that. Four sixty nine at this bell. Hmm. It wasn't great, but I feel like it wasn't great only because I got hit. Which is obviously my fault. I rarely see that one. Yeah, none of these are great again. Refinement generates 10 mana. Applies an effect when a scythe or cloak weapon strikes an enemy. Oh, that might be necessary. Oh my god, I've taken all the penalties like possible. Chop is closed. Blobby's gain max HP. Heartbreakers are more dangerous. They're, I forget what the deal with them is, but I don't like it. Immune to stun. Oh, yikes. Let's give you more HP because the spell hits so hard anyway. I really don't want to close that. I hate these enemies. But I don't think I'd be stunning them very often anyway. I hope. I pray. So now I, when I hit with a scythe, I can get back my mana and use the spell more often. Okay, you didn't drop anything, right? Did not. Run! Okay, got him. This lets me keep up the spell buff, too. The stacking spell buff that we have. You can see it in the top left. Do the shop. All right. Uh, really want to buy... Eh, just max mana, max health, I guess, really, huh? I guess I'll keep the glow. Not great. I don't know how much I need the soul though. Plus 15 mana. I'll use an anima and buy this cheap one. 
seems pretty decent. Use that anima too while we're at it. Hunt a grimy. Uh, hmm. What if we can trigger retaliate on our own? Maybe. There's stuff where you know you get max hand, max health and max uh, damage, max health and damage on retaliate. So if you can get those curses going. Um, I don't know if. Hmm. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, still hit. About to be very upset at the game if it did not. Oh, I tried the dash into it, didn't work, as you can see. Got it. Grimes tends to. Grimer here tends to be the easiest boss for a lot of these runs, I think, because you get you got the whole build online usually by this time. At least for me. And it's not the most difficult boss out there. <laughs> I guess we want Death Priest and stuff, so I guess we just go this and take the heal for now. I guess we can do that. I'm kind of scared. This might work, but it's going to be close. I guess we just need all the defense now, huh? Heals injuries. That's pretty strong for us now, so I think we'll snag that. Not going to buy the anima, I think. Green curses. Let's go. <sighs> Got to get that. Cup of Joe. Why is it called Cup of Joe anyway? Seems like a nickname more for Soiling Green, if anything. Oh, I was looking down for some reason. Hello. Oh, we got another animal back. Nice. He seems to not die even from a double explosion. That's kind of sad. Okay. I'm kind of just casting the spell even when I know it's not going to do much because I want to make sure we keep the stacks up for it. Okay. Just taking it easy. No need to rush. Hello? That really hit me? I can't believe that. Alright, max health. Dirty dagger. Nice backstab. Oops, strong one. Whoa, watch out. I gotta tell my character to watch out. <laughs> Anyone else have the, the Mario Kart real life searing thing? Like you're you're ducking, you're weaving left and right for it. It's really only like Mario Kart and other racing games, probably. Hmm, I think the vault tends to have better stuff. Spider Man is probably not going to have much for us. I mean, I guess it's health and mana, which is most of what we can use. I don't know. I don't know about like curses and stuff. Feels like I have to kill an enemy, move forward. I have to like plant the bomb, move forward, kill a different enemy or something like that. Okay. I thought it had me. Please die, my friend. I don't know how I killed the others, but not you. I don't know what that one damage is. Might be reduced damage. It's taking because uh, it grants defense to enemies, I believe. Please die. Hmm. Ooh, we got a curse out of this. Beautiful. There's Death Priest. So we get a lot of mana back. So I guess we want that. <laughs> Um, I'm looking for... I feel like there's something that's like, just increased spell damage by 50% or something. I'm not positive. But I feel like something like that exists. Why aren't you casting the spell? So, mana is about as good as we can make it nowadays, I'd say. It's not really gonna get better than that. 
but it might be kind of tough to get it back in some way still. Because I'd rather just sit off to the sideline and spam spells and get mana from the spells themselves, but now it feels like I kind of have to hit with things. Nice. That's why we farm all the enemies, get those pure heals, you know? Okay. Guess the reroll. Definitely don't need equipment. Not really, at least. Hmm. It's pretty hard in the game, I've noticed, to upgrade more than one thing to max. Maybe that would be nice if they gave us the opportunity to do that more. Uh, the higher difficulties really make that apparent. There's no nerf to Prismium, but to how much soul you earn and how much things cost in soul, it does make, a pro make it a very big problem. I guess at these higher difficulties, it's fine. But it's still kind of difficult, I think. Hmm, two golden animas now. I don't really need them. I'm pretty much at max. I guess don't really need to think about that right now. Am I crazy, or are those going on faster? Or maybe I was just chaining the bombs correctly for once. Huh. I don't know. Drop anything? Nope. Plant the bombs, come back to see if they drop anything. Okay. Uh, probably just go to the HR office here. We don't even need the heal from the relaxation area. We might have this. It's pretty, it's very weird though. It might be doable. Uh, high movement bosses, like Max might be kind of annoying. I can foresee the major. Okay. Major also, as always, is pretty rough in general. I'm trying to just cast a spell as quickly as possible here. Seems to work out. In ways I would not expect. I might as well use an anima there, huh? Now there's not as much point to kill enemies. Can't drop a whole lot for us now. Alright. Okay, give me the shield. Looks good. What do you got for me? Mana regen, not very interesting, I gotta say. I have a couple rerolls here. This one's a decent defensive one, I suppose. Plus 10 damage per anima. It's kind of hard to turn that down, because it's plus 20 damage. And that includes on the scythe, too. So, it's not the flat damage I was kind of hoping for, but it definitely, it just makes sense here, I think. I mean, you really just can't uh, deny it, I think. Also, well, let's try to find out, will it, does it infect the infusion wave? I'm not so sure, actually. Looks like it kind of might. I see 13 damage on the waves now. So, the answer is maybe? I mean, 13 damage doesn't really make sense in terms of numbers, but maybe the wave has a uh, like some kind of reduction applied to it. Nothing over there. Okay. So now we actually deal a decent amount of damage just from everything now. It's kind of strange that they have so much flat damage across like the board for a lot of different things. Go ahead and use this. Ow. It is a bit hard to figure out what's going on sometimes here. Dude, can you please get hit? I was expecting you to move more often. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh oh crap, I should have used the first anima. Crud, whoa! Huh. Alright. These these like seem like they should be so easy to find. Because look, there aren't I've never I haven't taken any blue or red tree skills, but they're right here at the bottom. So you think you'd see them more often. 
They're not as good here, to be honest. I think bleed is generally better than burn. I don't know. Burn always hits for five. Bleed, you have to stack up. I don't know. Something about bleed. I think bleed has better buffs later down the tree, but we're almost certainly not going to get to him, honestly. Okie dokie. Any reason to go to the control room? Not really. Let's head over to the shop then. Bum, 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 ba, dun, dun. Yeah, I don't really get as much like bleed and burn appearing nowadays. It looks like they're rarer. Which is kind of too bad because that felt like another possible build that you could get going early on. That costs 175. Wow. Now I can't afford the pure heal. That's fine, I guess. All right, we're on to max. I could have sold the cloak. I haven't used it. There's kind of no reason to keep it there, I guess. I do want to keep my anima, so I guess I'm going to try to not use them here. All right, D. How are you, Max? There's something really creepy, like, especially like the text around Max. Something about it. I know that Max tends to go up here. Ow, Dan. Just a bleed. Hey, I tried the dash, but the last second didn't work. Oh, bombs took care of him at the end there. A little scary. I did get hit. Max is a little more unpredictable, I think, than some. Oof, that health that we have is not very high, I gotta say. We'll get some of it back. Lead gains plus five max charges. I kind of feel like I have to take Stroke of Luck. Does this reroll in anything? That's not very useful at all. I regret that. <laughs> I regret that immediately. Because we're taking the bleed one then. Uh, we might get one more curse uh, along the way here. Kind of almost guaranteed. I don't know. We might be okay. I'll spend some soul here. Refill the fridge, please. And I'll buy an anima. Healing over time for five minutes. Kind of a strange one. So it slowly heals me uh, for the next five minutes. Very slowly, I should say. All right, all right, all right. Bum, bum, ba -da 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 -da, bum, bum, bum. Okay. But killing all these will regenerate one health each. So it's a pretty decent idea to do this. Because we do have the termination heal. Okay. Could be the heal over time would fully heal me, but maybe we want to do this anyway. Life steal now. I wonder if you get double heal from that. Doesn't look it. Oh, well, when I hit enemies, I get healed now, too. Duh. Not just when I kill them. Hmm. All right. Practically full on the injuries. Okay. I wonder if that heal over time goes past the injuries. Doesn't look it. Looks like we're just stuck at 191 now. Too bad, I guess. Cast him, baby. No! Oh, come on. I dashed right through that. Took a hit there. Okay. I'm a little scared right here. It's hard to see the rocket. Still at 191, interestingly, though. Shockwave. Not gonna get used. You can actually use it to destroy projectiles, I think, Shockwave. I haven't really tried that much. So I'll just go to the relaxation area, huh? Skip our room, get some heal. And it looks like we might be able to do it. We're looking pretty strong. We got everything that could possibly be helpful, I think. Uh. Huh. I guess we'll go this way, I think. Sure, we'll do the mini boss. Sea Flage. This is uh, the ring girl, right? 
Grudge girl? Is it grudge or ring girl, we think? One of the two. Did they ever make a sequel to the ring? It was pretty unique for its time. I think I may have saw, seen the Japanese one before the American one, but both were actually not that bad. It was a unique idea, that's for sure. I don't remember any sequels spawning out of it. Unless they went like straight to video or something weird. <laughs> Sci-fi movie specials, maybe. Hey, okay. oh my gosh, how many? Oh my God. Can I hit them from up here? Oh, I can actually. Okay, we gotta kill all these. Watch out for the big guy. I'll use an anima now so I can pick up this one. Very good. What was that? I couldn't even tell what hit me. I think the thing was firing a rocket at me or something. Drop anything? Oh, you did actually. I guess we'll have two golden animas then. This looks like our injuries are pretty much all gone. It is indeed the ring grudge girl. Don't you play innocent with me. I know your game. Oh gosh, you got me right away. Okay, big numbers though, huh? Oof. Saw like a 707 on it. Oh, ah. Uh. Keep always doing that. Keep honest, accidentally doing that a lot. I thought we picked all the green. Guess not. Well, I really don't want to pick up a penalty, so I guess I'll just do this. I'm kind of hoping that's the last curse that we get. Under 50% mana regen. Now that looked like it was common, right? It was like gray. Now what, why, how is that common? 150%? It doesn't sound common. Okay. I just go to the control room so I don't have to fight anything, honestly. I don't think there's much else we can do here. We'll get the shop offer for the last room, too, here. <laughs> I don't know if there's much else to do. I might be able to upgrade my site if I wanted. It's probably not worth it, though. 125? I'm one short. <laughs> oh, well. I guess we go vault then here. Okay. Bit of a longer run. I mean, I gotta go a little bit slower with this uh, timed explosion thing. It's really not a great spell. Like, even like some common spells probably do a better job than this one, honestly, sadly. It's interesting and it's different. But uh, here's but here's the problem. The rarity is purple, right? It's, it's like an epic spell or something. And so I haven't seen it, but it turns out it's not great. I think the rarities could use some rethinking here and how they work and calculate them or something like that. All right, I probably don't have to kill anything, really. That's not necessary. Oh, okay. I'm not sure where that rocket went, but I don't see it anymore, so... Okay... Looks good. Hmm. One additional weapon. I have to take something. Maybe I take nothing. Maybe I skip it. I mean, these are both useless. As far as I can tell. Like, that feels weird to do. <laughs> but meanwhile, having to take two penalties could almost blow the run. Depending on what I'm forced to take. Probably, probably wouldn't flat out kill the run, but it could be, they could be very bad. That's for sure. All right, we've made it to the end at least. All right, Pliskon. I think we might have it. Breakdown 11, we'll check to see uh, if there's a breakdown 12 after this. There probably is. 11 is like a very odd number of finishes like this. You know, that doesn't make sense to me. All right, my friend. Wah. Okay, I should have the super up. Okay. Dang. Kind of an easier move to start here, too. 
don't get hit by things. Jump! I did not jump. I'm use a anima there. Okay. My rocket's gone. Very good spell. Or in very good uh, moment for us there. Dang, I think I missed with that. And he's dead. It actually worked pretty well. I took a couple silly hits. Could have been easy to dodge, but with the animation of uh, blocking me when he casts a spell, like you get greedy, you try to fit in a spell when you know they're gonna attack soon, and then uh, you know that happens. But hey, we lived. We did it. Oh, flashbang! All right, we'll watch the ending here, and then we'll see what's uh, what's after breakdown eleven, if anything. I'm gonna guess, I'm thinking breakdown 12? 12 kind of seems like a random number too, I gotta say. The double penalty uh, actually, I think is one of the most interesting um, uh, difficulty modifiers that we've seen so far. I think that one was actually a really cool addition. I'm glad that, I'm glad that it's on there, honestly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We earned 265 ingots. I'm I was kind of thinking, trying to think like how how many ingots do you get in a run and how many rerolls do you, can you earn back? So I earned like five-ish there. Alright. What do we got now? There's nothing that's really hindered the building process that that badly. Eleven it was the last one, I guess. I'm shocked. Why 11? It's so random, huh? Oh, well, I guess we beat the highest difficulty and have a nice death now. I wasn't, I wasn't acting like it. Ah, here's the new one. I see you, a gaze that pierces cloud, shadow, earth, and competition. Collect five prismium in a run. That's probably not gonna happen. So I should probably think about buying this at some point soon. It sounds cool, let's do it. All right, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of the games, how I know what to show on the channel. I appreciate you all so much and have a wonderful day. Bye, everyone.